So your parents are in Guam, so do they not love you? <laughs> well, that's, uh, I don't know. I can't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> no, like what happened? Why are you guys separated? And were you separated at birth or just recently? No. <laughs> no. Well, no, they just live in the Philippines and they, they left the Philippines because of lockdown. You know, it's, it's another, like, I think it's like the fourth lockdown in that's the terrible. Philippines now. Yeah. And so they went yeah. to Guam because it's the closest American, like, you know, piece of land to the Philippines. And they, 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 did you just, you left two years ago to New yeah. York City and you just wanted to leave. Not, they never kicked you out and said, go find a life and stop suckling on us. Well, no, I didn't say that. They didn't say that, but I said, but I did leave. <laughs> did, I did, you leave. Ha- did they give you a hint like, hey, you're my, yeah. that you're like, hey, the door is locked. The, my key's not working. Was that was that a hint? You know what they? You know what my dad would do? Actually, he would like he was fucking with me. So he would like take one of my slippers and then just be like, I don't know where your slipper is. Or sometimes he would he ha- have like a collection of tech decks, like fingerboards, <laughs> like tiny skateboards. Oh yeah. He like yeah. He so he stole them, and I was like, Dad, have you seen my tech decks? And he was like. Uh, no, I don't know. Why would I give a shit about your tech decks? And then I, like a, two weeks later, I found them under my bed, just scattered everywhere. He was just fucking with me. Like he was way of fucking with me. Is that a sense of humor? He, he wants you out of the house. Both. So he, he saw you as just a, this freeloader at one point. Oh yeah. Uh, not at one point. <laughs> like since, since you're, since you're like a teen, like when you're, you're 15, 16, 18, then he was like, you freeloading bum, basically. Yeah, get the fuck out. Yeah, do something. Was, was yeah. he like that? Is he, he's, he's white, right? He's American. Mm-hmm. And your mom's yeah, Filipina. Is. Yeah. So your mom was like, no, that's my Anak. And your dad was like, fuck my Anak. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually, my mom was like, uh, like, no, that's my Anak. And then, but then also like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, like, come on, help me out here. So yeah, that's like that um that uh old Chris Tucker joke from Def Jam. We talk about living with his mom, and then she was giving oh, him yeah. si- giving him signs to kick him out. She's like, yeah, she 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 buys peanut butter but no jelly. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, like, something <laughs> like that. You know what's weird? No sugar because my Kool-Aid, mom no sugar. and Justin's yeah. mom is very similar. That they don't want us to leave, and and honestly, that's why Justin's at home. <laughs> Just, Justin's mom's like my mom. They're like, enough, stay here, just eat the food, save your money. Like my mom brainwashed me, and my mom and my dad brainwashed me to stay at home till I was forty. Yeah. <laughs> no, really, Bra- brainwashed. They, I mean, my, my 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 parents wanted me to stay home and live there, so they always had extra help, right? So in case of danger or whatever, I was I was pretty much a wa- a speaking guard dog. <laughs> right. I and, mean, all of my much- all of my friends are in that same place. I envy all of them. Yeah, but it's they not good. Like, it doesn't make you grow as a human being. <laughs> like, honestly, yeah, my, my mom though. and dad were like this. When you get married, go in the, the basement will be perfect. We'll put the, we'll put an extra thing there. And I was like, why would my wife want to live in my ba- <laughs> parents' basement? And she's like, my mom's like, oh, I would live in your dad's basement if you had a house like this. <laughs> and after, well, yeah, well, you know, it's, it's that plus it's, I mean, can't afford all the bills like it's that plus that too. well i mean so, the, they're spending more me. money having me in there because they're paying for food you know they're paying for electricity they're paying and i'm paying them rent for 500 bucks which is nothing but really you're not you're not growing out of a shell you're not learning anything because when when i first yeah. moved out i was like oh i thought it was easier than this it's not it's actually harder because there's so many hidden costs of life that your parents took care of you it's like, oh, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. toothpaste, you know, like stupid little shit that you took for granted. You go, oh, that's another 400 bucks a month. You know, 400 like, bucks on toothpaste. No, no, no. You have to it's add stuff. Not, we're not talking about your teeth. We're talking about my teeth. Uh, <laughs> I, I have 17 that's more 600. teeth than you. I know. <laughs> kind of, kind and we have like, I'm, I'm using a giant toothbrush. Like the one they teach you how to brush teeth in school. <laughs> yeah, one of my first experiences growing up was uh, paper towel and toilet paper. When I would buy that, I would use it like crazy. Now it's like, okay, I'll use now four you, squares. <laughs> yeah. I'll use or like three my, yeah. squares. <laughs> when all my girlfriends had their own homes, so I was the loser in the relationship. But they would always say, uh, 
hey, you know, toilet paper costs money. Stop using it as if it's a Kleenex. Use the Kleenex box for Kleenex. I'm like, what's the difference? It's like, because you live at home. You don't know the difference. I'm like, huh? <laughs> but, and yeah, then like, if, it wasn't, also, if it wasn't for your small cock you'd be out of this relationship a long time ago <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kleenex like, costs more too I don't know why you ever notice that though? it does uh-huh. totally yeah it clean, like a box of Kleenex does cost more so I, I, I never understood that concept either yeah you might as well get a wash rag like how white people did in the 50s you know like you know when they how we like always had that fucking thing there I remember yeah, when I was in grade school, grade three, th- third grade for Americans, and I go, Miss, do you have a Kleenex? My nose is running. She goes, just use this wash r- this rag. And I opened it, and I saw so much dried snot in there. I'm like, what the fuck yeah, is wrong fuck? with you? <laughs> yeah, it's, I know. I've, I've seen I, kids do that. Like, the white kids in my school would do that. They would have it in their back pocket, like a, like a handkerchief. Right? Yeah. And then if you were sick, your th- their mother would give it to them, and then they they would just you know blow, blow their into nose. It, but it was like a towel, yeah. and they put it back in their pockets. Right? And they put it back in their pockets, dry it up, and they give it to their Filipino like friends. Your, dad, school, school, your dad's white. Old school Filipinos yeah. uh, do that too. Ugh, like that's disgusting. Filipinos. Yeah, my dad would always do that. You always have a handkerchief, yeah. and he'd be like, <laughs> and put it back, and I'm like, ew. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, and then he realized, let me wipe shade. that muta off your eyes with this. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then there's, there's, there's more muta in the eye. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, basically I was living in uh, Vancouver uh, in right under Jed's bed, listening to his girlfriend and him in the, in, in the, in the, <laughs> the nights. Now I was living in, with Marito, and then I came to Vegas for a week of shows. So I, I did the week, but by the end of the week, I got like five different bookings. I got, I got, a, I'm doing a show of in, with Russell Peters, like a week in January. Another uh, t- uh, some taping here in Vegas for their theater taping show. Then I'm doing the Stir Crazy Comedy Club, which is the, which is on the twenty uh, fourth and twenty fifth, and I'm doing a show with Justin in in Arizona. We're gonna, it's it, what's the tour called? Find Rebecca, get her, get Rebecca back to her. Um, it's a terrible name. <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible name, but it's a it's it's for a good cause. Get <laughs> Rebecca back to her. And who the um, fuck is Rebecca? Rebecca is Justin's ex lover. Oh yeah, <laughs> Rebecca. Oh yeah, the model. It's not gonna happen. So the it's hot, been the hot about, model. We've I think we this is we've been we've talked about her his ex every episode. seventeen times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So let's keep it going. <laughs> yeah. So she used to be part of the podcast. Yeah. She used to jump in and say, I love you, Justin, leave and stuff. And he goes, we're going to get married one day. Uh, he's going to move here. I'm going to control his life. Justin won't have nothing to say. And then, and then, and then after that, they broke up. <laughs> so we're trying to get her back. So I'm, I'm, I'm bringing chl- chlorophyll, a uh, potato knapsack. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, what else do I need, Justin? T- potato knapsack. Chloroform, maybe. Chloroform, that's it. Chlorophyll is what, uh, what uh, the, the plants, plants use, photosynthesis. use for photosynthesis. <laughs> photosynthesis. Hey, man, I remember photosynthesis, man. Photosynthesis. Uh, yeah. Chloroform. Chloroform. A, ra- a wash rag. Uh, Jed's dad's wash rag. Stop Hell yeah, I'll knock anyone out. <laughs> That'll knock anyone out. Yeah. You don't even need the chloroform. <laughs> no, it's just, just from his fucking fart. Um, yeah, his farts. <laughs> Yeah. So, anyways, I moved. I came here, so I had a bunch of gigs. Then uh, I got a gig in Dubai, like two days before. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just, just left. by the way, there was so much drama here after my second week. I'm not going to name any names, but there was so much dra- drama in Vegas. I ca- I came in the middle between Jimmy Kimmel's daughter, uh, sister Jill Kimmel, fighting Ty Rivera, and I had to fucking literally push them apart. I thought then, you weren't naming names. Sorry, I'm, you know what? I I, I thought it was only name to. names. <laughs> only name names. Name everybody. Yeah, and then Trix fought was about to fight Ty Rivera, <laughs> so I had to push them. So Matt Chavez, the owner of LA Comic Club, literally had to hold the back of Trick's shirt to pull him, and I was I would tie. And so, uh, did you? Roll? And, then I, and, and and here's here's the thing in general. I like everybody, you know. And sometimes whether your friends. You know, like, I, it's kind of like this. There's certain dogs that I, I love all dogs, but there's certain dogs I can't 
hang out too much with because they're pit bulls. They're going to bite me. <laughs> but I like them. But I just, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a limit because they could, they could do something dangerous. Hanging out with comics, you, you have a bunch of different array of comics, some nice people to mean people to thugs to whatever, but you kind of generally get along with everybody because they're kind of your sp same spirits, you know? But sometimes when you hang out with a comic that has a lot of stink on them, you're, you, you feel like hanging out with Mary, you're, you're hanging out with Mary Magdalene. Magdalene. You have to go, when people yell at that your friend, you have to go, hey, who among you have not sinned before? And if you have, throw, cast your first stone. Like, I almost feel like Jesus hanging out with some of these comics because these uh, people, some people don't like them. So they're always, they always have like a crew with another crew and they fight, but you, you hang with both crews, you know, because that's me. I don't care who you are. I'll hang out with you. But they, we, I always have to treat them like Mary Magdalene. <laughs> I try to get along with everybody and I hate the drama, you know, so I'd rather not even go hang out after the set sometimes because when you're in LA, there's too many fucking people. So there's not this, the drama is not the same. You, if you have a scene of 40 comics, there's going to be drama. If you have a scene of 2000 comics, there's not going to be the same kind of drama. You'll have two, three, like, you know, when I go to LA, so I usually hang out with, I'll, I'll hook up with Justin. We go to comedy magic club, laugh factory, uh, with Luz, whoever, you know, just even the big comics like Moz, Russell, but we're not, we're hanging out with all their friends after we're not really hanging out with everybody that's in the scene. Mm -hmm. And then Vancouver and Toronto and Chicago and all these places that are, that are the, not the meccas of comedy usually have 50 comics that are in the scene. And when you live in that scene, you, you, you see the drama and then you're added to the drama and you're like, what the fuck? I didn't want to be added to this, you know? So. What what I was doing for the last fifteen years was literally going to cities and then leaving after my show. So after a week, I would see the drama, but I would I'd be gone, you know. So I wouldn't really feel it because. But then living in a city full time, that's like not a hub, or not L.A. or New York, you get to see so much of it every every night. Everyone's moving to Vegas now, though, right? Or well, everybody like from 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 L.A. is either going to Texas. Florida Texas. or Vegas, like yeah, that's know, like Joe the three Rogan. places now, right? Yeah, I mean, the, there's the every this is what they say every God state is open. You know, it's oh, fully yeah. open because they yeah, believe yeah. in God rather than science. You know, yeah. And, I mean, um, I, I had a so friend. I had a friend who did a gig, uh, a stand up gig in Texas, and I, he sent me videos, and the videos were just of the streets, just filled with people and it's completely cool. open like as if nothing is even going on yeah well it's insane. what was that baseball it's a, it's game a, in miami or florida where they had forty thousand in a baseball uh, arena or a baseball field? yeah like, and, and that's you know what i mean because they have the vaccine they're they feel safer which is real which is true wait if you have 90 percent of the country vaccinated chances are the the you know they're they're going to be asymptomatic and they're going to not they may spread it but they're not going to get sick if you if you already have the vaccine unless they get a second strain which apparently Pfizer still takes care of but you you have a country like Canada who's not giving the population vaccines right now and just giving the frontline workers it can only double you know it can only double yeah you know and i don't know what the what, what's the weight who knows right but yeah my age yeah. category, I'm in May, June. May, June is my phase. And uh, anyone that's like younger than 30 is like. Dude, they just started uh, 16 and up like today or. No, that's why Canada like that. sucks. <laughs> We're like so behind. Yeah. Which is I mean, weird. In I Vegas, mean, everybody Canada can get like... a vaccine if you're not even a citizen of the country. They didn't ask me one question. <laughs> I just put my appointment online. They never asked where I lived. I went there. They never asked for paper, paperwork. Gave me the shot, and that was it. But they asked you for a pay stub or something, right? That you worked in Vegas or nothing? No, no? nothing. Wow. Nothing? <laughs> Whoa. Damn. Everybody was telling me you had to for CVS and Walgreens and all the other places. But the the convention center here, they do thousands of, of, of people a day. 
No. There's li- the lineups are like a thousand people, but they go in. It's a 20 minute wait, even if you're at the back of the line, because pe- you just see people just getting injected in this giant basketball kind of like gym. Really? You know? And there's like hundreds of people just getting vaccinated right away. And I was like, why can't we just do that for Canada? It'd be so much easier for people to start getting their lives back. Like, why? Why it's the wait? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then so I go to Dubai, sixteen hours flight. I get there and it's fifty percent of the people. The population is gone. Go. Oh, it's it's it is nothing there. I ha- to rent a full, full out like three bedroom apartment or or a condo is probably 600, 500 bucks a month. Really? Wow. Yeah, be, because what happened, so this is how crazy and cool Dubai is in some level. If you get in a street fight in Dubai, you go to jail for a year minimum. Right? So nobody, everybody has to be happy because they're scared to go to jail. Yeah. And here's That's another crazy, thing. Right? Uh, if you're there in contract like me, you have a contract that says how long you'll be there for. If you want to stay longer, just for vacation, it's 500 bucks a month just to stay. So you pay 500, then you have to also pay a place to stay, which is actually pretty cheap. Well, who are you paying? Your, the government. So where do you pay that? You pay that like at the You throw it in the air and then a bunch of seagulls pay <laughs> that. That's what I did. I don't know about you. I, 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 I'm smart that way. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, all these seagulls are wearing hijabs, so let's go. <laughs> and then, so, and then they, they look at your bank account. So if you own a business or work for a company there and your bank account, there's a certain amount of money that has to be there. And if it goes under it, you're kicked out. Wait, you give them your bank information. You have to give your bank information to the country and say, and if it goes under a certain amount, you get kicked out. So nobody there is poor. You can't be unless the poor people are, are see Filipinos and Indians were, were workers there 20, 30 years ago. Now there's multi-million Filipino owners. So what the first billionaire, so that's Filipino that lived in Dubai was a guy that used to unload shit on a, on a loading dock from all the ships. Then he oh. looked at the ship and he goes, Hey, this is coming from the Philippines. So he calls a bunch of people and, and his friends and they go, yeah, we, we work at the place. He's like, well, how much are you guys paying these guys? Uh, how much are they paying you? And how much are you? He found out that he can make more money going through him. So all the shipments, that they were paying for, Dubai was paying for, went transferred to him because he can actually get, get a better deal with his friends. And then finally he became a billionaire after 10 years. But he hired all, all these Filipinos. So all these Filipinos became millionaires in Dubai. So half the pot, so it's 10 million people. I would say around 6 million is left now. Right? Really? And, yeah. and the people that are living there are that have to be rich. And the, now you go to the malls and you see rich Filipinos shopping. Right? And then they go, um, so you get kicked out of the country if you don't have enough money in the bank. Um, you, and, and here's, here's a, another thing that was pretty crazy. Um, the locals there, the Emirates, there's only 10% left. 90% of it is foreigners. 90% is, is from the UK, Australia, uh, you know, Germany, whatever, uh, East European, Canadian, you know, whatever, rich people. And everybody speaks English. You go there, you, you don't even see the reg- the locals, but the locals are the ones wearing the gowns, you know? Yeah. And they're getting 150,000 American a, a year just to do nothing. Wow. So they don't, they don't, they don't have jobs. So they're, they're the second largest country for local obesity. <laughs> second really? to Kuwait. Yeah. Cause they don't do anything. They don't do nothing. So all you see is fat Arabs. <laughs> Eating and and they're rich. They they have BMWs, they Mercedes Benz, yeah, they own yeah. the biggest homes, but they don't work because it's only ten percent of the population that's left, and the government needs them there because they're going to leave. That's so crazy. So now they're just giving them money, and then I go. So my friend Ali, who lives there, who owns a comedy club, I'm like, so what happens if you your comedy club goes out bankrupt and you lose money? Do you get kicked out like us? They're like, no, they just replenish it and just go go keep trying. <laughs> wow that's crazy you just go keep trying keep going until you until you physically die right? <laughs> yeah and, and we'll pay for all forever. your problems can you, can you tell them just to let's expand our jerk restaurant in dubai 
that that's I asked him. He said he's down. Literally zero risk for everybody. No, it's zero risk. We, we, for we're, all so of Justin us. and I want to start a chain of it's what's it called Filipino jerks, and um, it's all around the world for Philippine. It's basically our jerk recipe that was inspired by real Jamaica and a bit of the Asian, you know, Chinese. Thing. But I mean, I mean, it would kill there because. If your business partner goes, well, I have unlimited income. You know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, any like, business. I don't have to get a loan at it's all. Not a, it's not even a business. It's a video game. You it's a video mean? game. Yeah, yeah. You just, you, no, a, a, video games, you still have to pay for more point, pay for extra <laughs> lives. This is better than a video game. This is better than a video game. This is not even This real. is better than, a, this is basically Atari, 20, Atari, <laughs> where your dad bought for you. <laughs> it's and, fiction. And, 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 yeah, and so when I was there, two two weeks before or two months before I was there, there was some Nigerians that came in the city and they were working under a company for construction. And they said, uh, this is bullshit, you know, because they the company has to make a certain amount of money. But those people that are working as laborers all live in a place that that company put together, you know, so they don't they don't have to look at their wallets. They just have to look at the company's wallets and they control their workers. That's why a lot of people are not really happy with how they treat immigrants or like in Filipinos and Indians and uh, and Africans yeah. out there because yeah. they're actually in these poor areas, even though it's nicer than any ghetto, you know, they're not getting paid the same amount of money as everybody else. And they're not really yeah. known as, yeah. you know, they're workers like me, but they're getting paid really badly, but it's okay for that government because it's not, un it's not under them. It's under their companies. So they decided to go rob uh, people in the ATM machine. So like oh, 20 shit. of them were like, let's go to different ATMs and just wait till these, you know, the locals take their money out and we'll, kill, we'll, we'll rob them. They have a zero tolerancy there. Yeah. Like, you know how yeah. it's like they go. They don't fuck around. Yeah. They don't fuck around in the Middle East. They go, we will kill you straight dead fucking right in the head if we see that. Like That's the law. They will shoot point blank at the head if they see any crime happening. Where they're if they're beating up an old lady, or so they started robbing people, and the cops came and just shot everybody in the head. Like twenty people died in one in one hour. <laughs> Damn, oh my God. Jesus! Yeah, they, it was like it was like Iron Man one when he killed all those fucking people <laughs> who fuck? were capturing the kids. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, they just <laughs> apparently they all just dropped, and people were like, "Yay!" Like they weren't even like, "Oh my God, blood!" They're like, "Yes, yeah. thank you." <laughs> Finally, you know Finally. that blood squirting out. It would have been my money if you didn't shoot this guy. <laughs> that happened while you were there, literally happened while you were there. I was there, uh, but it was uh, it was a couple months before I was there. The booker oh, was telling hey. me she was just like they have a zero tolerance. Because right? you see how happy everybody is. He goes, yeah, it's like Disneyland every day. Everybody has to be happy. That's what the government wants. And you have any shit like that, they'll kill you. Like they don't even hang anymore. They're like, no, the hanging takes too long. Let's just shoot <laughs> you in the fucking forehead. They'll kill you on site. They don't even like on take site. you somewhere. No, yeah. they just shoot you straight up in front of the public and then wash it. Then the Filipinos wash the blood. Find the, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, in blood sport when they're washing the blood and they find the teeth and the, oh, yeah, the gold that, tooth. <laughs> yeah, there's like a bunch of Filipinos scrubbing the blood in the floors, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then they have these fucking gold teeth they put in their mouths. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's unreal though. And the food, um, food is, you know, Middle Eastern food is pretty much the same across the board. It's the right? same anywhere you go in the Middle East, yeah. honestly. Yeah. You know, so, but, but, you know, the street food, I, I, I videotaped that is really cool. Like the barbecue outside and you just walk down and it's not like a ghetto street place. Like, you know, you go to Malaysia and Singapore, sometimes you go into these ghetto areas that they do it or even fucking Does LA have a ghetto? and fucking have a Korea. Ghetto? Singapore, yeah, man. I mean, ghetto, a ghetto, they're so man. small, though. It's such. I've never every even place seen, has I've a ghetto except seen... Dubai. <laughs> they're, they're ghetto is like, not even that bad. Right? But I, 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 first time I was in Dubai was two thousand and three with Dwayne Perkins, who's actually going to be. Uh, I guess he's we we pre taped a podcast with him, and uh, we did uh, Showtime Dubai in two thousand and three, and. Uh, and then to, I did it again to 2004 with a bunch of other comedians. But uh, since then, they only have that the one major show that I do out there that, that I just did. 
but they want to do a Filipino show because they're like, well, there's now rich Filipinos. Joe Koi sold, Joe Koi sold 10,000 tickets at, at like $50 American a pop. And they were like, no, rich Filipinos came out. The, the poor Filipinos didn't come out, but the rich came. My yeah. friend went to yeah. that, to the, his show, and she said she couldn't even hear him because people were screaming people were so screaming. much. Like, oh, my God. People were collapsing as if they saw Jesus. <laughs> It was like a Michael Jackson concert. <laughs> it, it was. It was like a Michael, and because he did Michael Jackson at the end. <laughs> Remember, you like you see like highlights from a Michael Jackson concert is all these people fainting, yeah. fainting. Yeah. Like, yeah. with stretchers. I'm like, yeah, I never <laughs> understood that. It was crazy. They did. They didn't know there was that many rich Filipinos because a lot of like half. They said like one fourth of the one th maybe one eighth of the venue was white or like m mixed, co but but you know most of it was Filipino. Yeah, the rich Filipinos could only afford that show. The the poor Filipinos could not afford that. They wouldn't be even. They wouldn't even find out because they're working under a company that wouldn't tell them all this shit. Fifty yeah. US is a ticket. That's I pretty think it's cheap. More. I was gonna say I thought it'd be more for Dubai. Yeah, it, right now Dubai is really it's it's not struggling. It's it's it goes up and down in in uh, in expense. So right now yeah. you can get a house yeah. normally. You can get a you could rent out a. Uh, an admit, like top of the line, I would say you'd say a condo, like a really big condo, like twelve hundred square foot, fifteen hundred square foot kind of condo. You get a thousand bucks a month. You know, uh, the the condo wow. that the Booker rents is around five hundred a month, and it's huge. Uh, wow. You can get an actual uh, Porsche out there for th forty thousand dollars right now because it's so cheap. What? Yeah, it's just, right now they just they're like they just. They're just calculating how much things should cost to, to keep the people there. Jeez. You know, so, and, it, and they're, they're, it's everything is all balanced apparently to the average income people are making. So if it's too, if it's high, they go high. If it's low, so it's all, it, it, it's all relative to how much the average person makes in Dubai. So right yeah. now, the average person is not making a lot, so it's dirt cheap. We're eating out, out every night for fucking five, ten bucks. Wow. And they're like, so, it's, it's not going to be like this. They go, once shit gets better, it's going to be triple again. But the, mm. it's a, the government's a different government. It's it's a totally different yeah, kind of totally idea because they don't give any money to foreigners. They don't give them any aid. So you have to pay for your hospital and you have to pay for a few. They're not going to give you any COVID relief funding. They only give that to their people. Yeah. So they can afford that because uh, they mainly do like, uh, petroleum or oil? Do oil? I don't business? know what their I don't know what their How resource. How they afford all that? What is their resources there? I mean, they, I think they, it's, they, that's I think what happened. Petroleum right? and oil. Petroleum and oil. It blew up like recently in the last decade or two decades, and it, that Dubai is a city that's been made in literally ten years of how big it's gotten. It's the same as like. Yeah. BGC, if, if you, if you, in Manila, I don't know if you guys know yeah. about Fort Bonifacio, that, Fort yeah, that Bonifacio, city. Bonifacio yeah. City? So I what saw that. that. Like, it's global like, city? it's, uh, yeah, exactly. So it's Bonifacio Global City. It's this piece of land that was owned by the military, the Philippine military, like 20 years ago, was sold to these corporations. And in the span of 10 years, a whole city was made in that piece of land. And I grew yeah. up like next, to, you know, I grew up living there and I eventually moved there. But the city grew so fast in, in the span of 10 years. It's it's the same as Dubai. Like, it's just insane. It, yeah. it was all grass. Yeah, I heard it was all and then, grass. And then all of a sudden this big city, because that's a uh, few years back. I went to our Mercado. Uh, exactly. City. Mercado. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's It's insane. Like how fast they just if the corporations put money into it, or there's some sort of money, then they're gonna make a city out of it, you know. Were you there when there was still the the, the tent, the the Fort Bonifacio? Yeah, the big tent. Yeah, the giant yeah. tent. I was I was I was in the third grade. That was where he was born. Right. He was born right. in the tent. <laughs> uh, born in the tent. <laughs> he, he was, was there his, his parents are carnies. <laughs> <laughs> I was there in 2000, what was that, 11? Yeah, 2011 with Rex. Rex did a, did a show there. Was that when and, you guys uh, were friends? Yeah. We were still like. Are you guys not friends anymore? No. He still, well, he still respected me. <laughs> um, really? You guys get in the fight? I heard he's a fighter. I heard he beats the shit out of people. You got, they they, they got a fight online. <laughs> um, anyway, so he did a show there. 
and yeah. uh, he sold it out. And he he got some award for like Asian American Artist of the Year or something. Wow! Something like, wow! That's I was like, what is, what is this award? And uh, yeah, this is when we were still friends. <laughs> he, got a, he, got, he also got an award for biggest Filipino calves. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's me actually. No, have you seen Rex's calves, dude? They're like crazy big and like Popeyes. They're exactly. I've only seen him wear pants. Oh, man. I think yeah, because if he favorite. wears shorts, <laughs> girls will come running, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. I think one of my friends, wife. Caesar. I think he could uh, challenge him because my friends' uh, calves are like fucking thick. <laughs> Is he Filipino? <laughs> yeah, he's Filipino? a thick boy. Why? Yeah. Why do you think Filipino calves are so big? Like, out of all the Asians, they have the biggest calves. Yeah, why Jolly Bee? <laughs> um, because we're descendants of uh, Carabaos. Holy yeah. shit! So when the Carabao d- died, we have to take over the harness. <laughs> Yo, I mean, honestly, Filipinos. There's a lot of thick boys in the Philippines. It's either it's Jed thing. types or us types. Yes, <laughs> one or the other. Yeah, That's Je- a fact. so the, this Filipino uh, philosopher. No, he was. There was like that old Filipino man that was. <laughs> that was. I asked these stupid questions <laughs> to these people. There was a Filipino yeah. man that was smoking dope in the corner of the Manhog. And uh, in Cebu, and I asked him, how come there's so many big Filipinos that are fat like me? And there's so many skinny Filipinos. And you know what he said? What's the that? ones that live in the mountains are skinny. And he goes, and the ones that live in the, on the land are thicker. I go, why? He goes, the work is different. I go, what, the, what's the mountain work? Oh, they don't do nothing. They just lie down. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck kind of... <laughs> why why <laughs> why is that true know. and then he vanished and then, then he I was just like, disappeared <laughs> he just disappeared like yeah. he he walked with the, the windy but then for some reason that lives with you it's like that's that kind of old guy old man like see that's advice. the thing when you're an old man you naturally people naturally want to listen to you but those yeah, old men yeah. could be bullshit you could be a crackhead you know you don't yeah, know because it's kind of like it, when i started in comedy all these white older comics would ask me weird questions about life and they thought that i would have the asian answer to it <laughs> like a fortune cookie <laughs> yeah so i would come up with the stupidest fucking things like well if you don't do that then you know i, I was basically how my parents would can't come up with bullshit if you go to sleep <laughs> if you go to sleep with your hair wet you wake up blind <laughs> yeah, what is that? I, I, I would tell them different weird. I don't know if that's a proverb, but like it's like Justin. Did, did, did you, didn't your parent, parents have you, any of those Filipino like, yeah, lies? Yeah, yeah. Go to what is it like? You, if you go to go to bed with your hair wet, like you you, you, you get go sick blind or something. Like yeah, that. you get sick. Or if you're, if you're if you're wet, sick. if you're wet too close in front to the, of the screen. AC. Yeah, watch TV too close. So it's, I had if you, you can't cut your fingernails at night. Is one of your relatives will die or something like that. What? That's, what that's, the that's fuck? So I never extreme. heard that shit. I, I heard that from my mom. <laughs> She's like, you can't, it's bad luck to cut your fingernails at night. I, I never listened to her. Hell? No one's, I never had bad luck, but my mom told me that it's bad luck to cut your fingernails at night. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Fucking cut your fingernails on, what the fuck? That's so yeah, weird. I, know, that I mean, like some of it life. is fun, like, like like the the good luck good fortune stuff that we we picked up from Chinese like you know I'll still do it just because it's like like what a f- like a fun thing to do like with the with like fruit everything has to be like round for the new year like round fruit uh, there's it, like a bowl of life. coins yeah punts it with the long noodles long life long the, life. the round coins good luck like everything has to be like round like you know a lot of Chinese people that I know like they they also have those things you know that they so like the ones that are modern don't do it as much, but they go, yeah, well, my parents used to tell me to do the same thing. Like Chinese people, like my friend, Doug Chang said, uh, he had to walk backwards into his house, uh, because of the number, like it all depends on what number you lived on. If you walked frontwards, it was okay for certain numbers, but certain numbers you have to walk backwards in your house because you have to face the spirits. So they wouldn't go in behind you. Like weird shit like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think like the number, I think the color red, what do you know, the number four is, or something like that in, 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 in China is bad luck because it, it sounds like, uh, the Chinese word for death, like it's too close. Or oh, sorry, yeah, I heard or something, something like, like that. Because apparently so 13 like, is lucky in China. Yeah, like really? number, number four is like bad luck, I think is, is the, the bad luck number. 
That that's Jennifer Shung's nickname, number four. <laughs> I, re- I, I remember I was doing this uh I was hosting this like corporate event for uh, a Chinese company and uh, they they had like um like putting greens, like they had these, you know, for people to just hang out and play. But they took out they took out the number the number four hole because <laughs> it was like bad luck. For this Chinese, so that so no one would play. Well, they do that. They do that for number thirteen floors everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like you don't see thirteen in a lot of thirteen yeah. buildings. I guess China, it's, it's the thirteen is the best floor. Yeah, what was that a uh, joke that uh, what's his name did? Um, uh, uh, um, Mitch, Mitch Hedberg. Mitch, uh, yeah, about uh, the the thir- about floor thirteen. Oh yeah, he goes. Sometimes I can't I can't give it justice, but it, it wasn't the lines of uh, sometimes you go to buildings that don't have a thirteenth floor, so you'll be on the fourteenth floor floor. But I'd be like, man, you know what floor I'm really on? Yeah, yeah. It's like, if I yeah, jump yeah. off, if I jump off the window, I'm gonna land before fourteenth floor. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. He was one of the best one liner geniuses out there. All right. I, what is, what this? is this? So, this is this is the game. So I prepared a game. You okay. zoomed in with the guess out. Guess what it is? Yes, that's exactly yeah. it. So I've zoomed into a picture for people who are listening. I've zoomed into a picture, and you have to guess what the picture is, and then whoever is the closest wins. Um, so here's the first picture, and uh, we'll go from Ron, Justin to Jed. So everyone, take a good look at the photo. <clears throat> It's an insect of some sort, like a bee. Do you think it's a bee, Ron? Well, it's not my hairline, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, Justin, what do you think? That is Rex's nostril. Okay. <laughs> Inside. Well, it actually looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> Jed, what do you think? I, I think it's like a lion's mane. A lion's mane. It's an interesting guess, all right? So let's see what it is. It's a pug. It's a pug. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, so hey, I wasn't, I wasn't too far from nostril, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> you weren't. It was right on the nose, actually. Literally. Yeah, actually. Right. Literally so, yeah. on the nose. But because literally I said an insect, it's still in the animal world. So who gets it? Nah, dude. You're not even <laughs> close, man. What are you talking about? Well, well I'm know, closer. I said one. nose, and obviously it was zoomed into a nostril. Look, I'll give you guys both half a point. Yes. Also, Dude. none of this matters. But it, it's I, his I will game, give you the Justin. Point. You can't. You can't. You can't get Ron's mad at him. Even, it's his game. Ron's not even the same fucking kingdom or phylum as a fucking. It doesn't matter. It's his game. Animal. <laughs> it's his game. <laughs> He's allowed to do whatever he wants. All hey, right. So I'm going to give half. Let's let's, let's establish some rules first. <laughs> okay. What? Okay. What? Are, okay. What, what rules do you want? Here, here's the rules. If it's I'm an kidding. Animal, play around. Just whatever. Yeah. No, but if it's let's do this. If it's an if it's an animal in the animal like world, <laughs> whether it's an insect, dog, or fucking amoeba, that should be it. But with Justin, it's really tricky because it was a nose. So I literally that, said that's nostril. Why, that's why look, here's what I'm gonna do for you, Justin. I what literally you, said I named I, the part, I was anatomically I, correct. Yes, okay, look, but this is what I'm gonna this is what I'm gonna do. There's no but. <laughs> yes, there's a but. Of course, it's his fucking show. All right, I'm gonna give you two. I'm gonna give you one point, Justin. I'm gonna give you one point, Ron. And All then right. Jeff, that's bullshit. You, you get picture. too close with the lion's mane. So, <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So that's yeah. one point. One point each. All right. Let's get on to the next one. All right. What, are we, what is it, Ron? Why don't you describe what it looks like first before you guess? All right, it's really it's sort of pixelated. Is it? That's the whole point. Well, it's really up close. No, really no, like close. it's pixelated in a point where I can't see it. Yeah, well, that's the whole game. Okay. Well, I yeah. see red and spa- I guess splashes of white. Oh man! Like this. <laughs> I, I think you. I think you need an eyeball injection again. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the, I think. I think it's my. I think it's my reception or my my. My Re- Wi-Fi. Your, it's not as clear. No, it's yeah. really, it's actually really up close and pixelated because it's really zoomed in. So, okay. well, what do you think? It. What do you think it is? I think it's. Wrong. I think it's Mars. Mars. All right. Like Justin, some kind of rock. 
Like rock. I think it's uh I think it's clogged skin pores. Clogged skin pores. Okay. Why is always yours about Rex's body? <laughs> 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 Everything is Rex's body. <laughs> All right, Jed, what do you think? Okay, go, Jed. 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 I want to say it's like a food with like sugar on it. Food like sugar. It, on it. Maybe it's a cookie, like a cookie with sugar on it. Okay, that's my guess. All right, let's see what it is. It's a cake. All right. Oh, oh so. Damn. That's so Jed, close, Jed is, yeah, That's Jed, Jed is obviously the closest person there. I'm going to give that to him. He gets one point. You guys are all tied. You guys are all tied. Definitely. That was a good one. All right. What do we got here? All right. Wait, that, for sure, Rock. that's Rex's what, back. <laughs> for sure. What are you looking at? For sure, what that's you, Rex's back like? and he's mad. What does um, it look like? Describe what you're looking at. Back. I'm looking at, uh, I guess, a green, a green material that has a bunch of tiny balls on it like metallic balls mm-hmm. so i'm going to say that's going to be some kind of clothing whether it's a belt or a shoe or a leather something okay all right Justin, which could be rex's yes. back too <laughs> that's either a uh, cactus or avocado skin Mm, well, why okay. don't you do a rex thing if it was rex as part of his body what would it be not that you're going to use it <laughs> Uh, his birthmark. Birthmark is that? His psoriasis patch. <laughs> How about that? Would it be red? Psoriasis <laughs> patch? That's better. <laughs> All right, Jed, what do you think? I want to say it's like fruit skin. I almost want to say it's like Guyabano skin. Okay. What the hell is that? Guyabano. Guyabano. It's a Filipino fruit. Gu- like a. Yeah. yeah Guyabano. Like, uh, I've never heard of this. It's like it's uh, sour sop. Uh, in Vietnam, yeah, there you go. Sour, sour, sour sop. There sour sop. I don't even. But anyways, wow, I think it's I've fruit spent skin. 90% of my life in the Philippines, I've never heard that. It's kind of like a really mushy fruit, right? Sour sop? Yeah, sour sop. Like yeah. Really juicy. Well, really juicy. juicy. They have, they, a lot of people make drinks out of it, even in yeah. Jamaica. Yeah. All right. So th- let's see what yeah, it is. Fruit, fruit skin with seeds. It's a cactus. Justin. Actually, hey! yeah. cactus. He actually said cactus. See? So that's right. I think, bro. I should have got two points for the dog's nostril. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> do, I, do I get some I sort of said half nostril. point? Do I get a half point for being sort of botanist? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I don't think I can do half points. I can't. Do half points. It, it won't matter I anymore. Half point for being a botanist. <laughs> <laughs> all right here's the next picture ron right. what, what are you looking at what does it look um, like that's uh i guess that would be um i think that's a part of a hill or a mountain it looks it w- a hill or it's it's kind of like a black and white uh it's black and white more than anything right it's black and white and gray exactly yeah, yeah. black and white and gray all right justin so you said mountain so justin what do you think that's uh either the belly of a killer whale or a penguin. Okay, but if it was Rex, if if it was Rex's part of his body, <laughs> what would it be? It would be uh, the back of Rex's earlobe. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you know what's weird? Justin only knows what that looks like. Yeah. He's the only person who would know. He's the only person that keeps looking at that part of Rex's body <laughs> when he's around. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? That time Rex was not looking at me, but I was looking at the back of his ear. <laughs> In anger. <laughs> All right, Jed, what, what do you think? I almost want to say it's Mickey Mouse. Mickey, Mickey Mouse? Mouse. A cartoon okay. character. Interesting. Cartoon Chili character. Ch- Chili yeah. Willy. Cartoon Chili character? Willy. Okay. I, I say cartoon Let's see what character. it is. Cartoon Chili, character? Ch- Chili yeah. Willy. Chili Willy, I remember that. All right, so that's disgusting. (laughs) (laughs) Oh damn, that was good. That was good. So I think Jed is. That was my vest. (laughs) Yeah, man. Hilarious! I love your vest. It's a great vest. I think I have Ron's old vest now. That's the one I I gave you. Fourteen vests. I think that's the one he gave. I remember. So it's a picture of. You, Justin, and you, Ron, what, like, 
50 years ago. <laughs> this, that? this is 2012, the, I think. Yeah, we did, we did a show in the Ice House, and that guy Ice Mike, House. Mike, the Jewish guy, Mike, took a picture. Yeah, of us. Michael Schwartz. Yeah, and uh, me, Joey, I, Joey has the same shirt I have because we bought it at the same time. <laughs> and I used to wear chains, and then I gave I I, I retired vests and I gave them all to Justin. Man, I just I've always worn vests. Or Jack and then vest. Look at that. Just so I wear, I wear vest like, like Ron's vest now. Yeah, I know. You don't that's, even look that's, like that anymore. That's that's how I look like on the side of my car, though. Yeah, that's yeah, true. On my, uh, that is true. <laughs> on my car wrap. That's hilarious. <laughs> I literally way? thought I was a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, mean, so, so our bodies are not far from it. <laughs> I said penguin. I said penguin belly. So it was pretty close. Very close. So Jed went. <laughs> Jed went Car- with cartoon characters. So I think he gets a point for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, you guys are pretty like animated cartoons. in that uh, in that picture right now. This is yeah. the. This, this Those is aren't the, real uh, people. This is the <laughs> label of the of our Jamaican jerk sauce right here. <laughs> oh my god! This is what it is. That looks Filipino like two Filipino, Filipino jerks. jerks. It really does like two <laughs> pieces of shit. Filipino jerks right there. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, Justin, right. you're like six, you're like six two, right? Me? Yeah. No, no, I'm six foot. Six oh, okay. Foot. You look really tall. <laughs> <laughs> How tall are you? Around five ten? Um, um, I shrunk an inch, so I'm five nine now. Five nine. Uh, <laughs> you shrunk an inch. Yeah, I, I went to this place where they met. You know, um, I went to one of those science center fucking uh, places. I went to it in, <clears throat> in Miami. And the last time I measured my height was 5'10 exactly. This is from a doctor. And I went to this one place and like, you're 5'9. I go, how? I'm five, was 5'10 five, 10, 10 years ago. They're like, yeah, you, when you get to hit 40, you start shrinking. I go, what? <laughs> so apparently when you hit 40, your bones actually start shrinking and you could lose your height. Holy shit. Anyway, uh, what we got So you have here. a lot to look forward to, Ronnie. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to think about it. Uh, think about it. So. So, Ron, what are you looking at here? What does it look like to you? Oh, that's Guam. That's your parents are right there. <laughs> <laughs> your parents have a sign that says "Fuck you, Ronnie." We're done. Oh, man. Now that's like that's definitely some kind of. I know it's a it's a vegetable or or forest or any kind of vegetation. That's what it is. Whether it's a close up of a broccoli or zoom out from Guam, it's vegetation. Vegetation. Okay. All right, Justin. What do you think? <laughs> That's kale. Okay. Yeah, kale. But what, 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 would, what would it be if it was Rex's part of his body? <laughs> Pubic hair. <laughs> Whoa. He's a little, he'll, uh, he's younger down there, I guess. Experiments with the, with the dyes. It's green. Yep. We're looking at something green here. <laughs> <laughs> well, can we use the same answer? Because I was going to say kale as well, too. Kale? Sure. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Fine. Well, that's all three of us then. We're, do- we're all doing vegetation. Well, I mean, I'll, okay. Wait, let's be specific. I'm doing. I'm gonna do four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> was so, that a zoom up of the hole? Oh my! It was a zoom up of the hill behind the cow's asshole. But okay, good. It's still that, part of the picture. So I think none of you guys got that one. Uh, I don't think any of you guys. It's a cow's yeah. asshole. <laughs> um. So. Let's go. All okay, right. So let's go to the next one. There was no trace of asshole in the zoom up. Though. <laughs> like, I mean, it was literally. <laughs> if you guys said hills, I would have gave it to you. If you guys said hills. All right. All right. So here, Wait. Ron, what are you looking at? Uh, this is a. Oh, I know, I know what this is. What, this is, what does it is... look like? It looks what it looks like is a, what are you looking an at? explosion what are you looking at? of something. Explosion. Yeah. So I'm going to say it's an explosion of some sort. Explosion. Okay. All right, Justin. This is the uh, Dalson stage in Street Fighter Two. Oh my god! It could be. Wow, that is Whoa. so specific. That is so specific. All right, uh, Jed. I was going to say it's uh, a building on fire. A building on fire. <laughs> All right. Well. I, Ron, I, I don't know what's going Whoa. on here. Whoa. I don't know why. <laughs> so that was an explosion <laughs> in my pants. <laughs> so it looks like you're, you're you're performing oral sex on a microphone in an interview. 
Well, that that's exactly what it is. You're very smart. Thank you. That's yeah. exactly what it was. <laughs> so uh, th- what, no, what's that, going that on? An, uh, she's talking. She was giving me an interview, and then I told her this is what I do in my show. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly okay. what, what, what it said. Buy, All right. buy your tickets now. They're going for Buy your tickets yeah. now. <laughs> Nobody came to the show, by the way. It was, I love it. It was not sold out. She it's didn't even come to the show. Meet comedian Ron Jossel. And that's the, that's the, the screen cap that's that they what, used. That's what, what club you, is that in the background? So this is uh, the Comedy Works in Montreal. Oh, crazy. It opened in 1978. Their first comic was Jerry Seinfeld before he was nobody. Wow. Maybe Holy before shit. he was somebody? Before, yeah. Before oh, yeah. he was somebody. <laughs> I think before he was, he was nobody. nobody. <laughs> he, before, when he was a nobody. Back when he was famous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's the next one. All right, Ron. What, what are you looking at here? What does it look like to you? Um, what it looks like to me is... Uh, By another, the way, none of you guys got that right the last one, so I'm not going to give anyone that... So go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know what you're going to do now. This is going to be like some tiny speck of something that has nothing to do with it. (laughs) So this is two, (laughs) there's probably, this is two people that are just hanging out. (laughs) Just two people hanging out. Yes. I like it. All right. Justin, what do you think? This is a nostril. Okay. Again, Uh, Uh, if it were, if it were Rex, his body parts, (laughs) what would it be? His nostril. Okay. If it was a nostril again, your ex-girlfriend, if it was your ex-girlfriend's body part, what would it be? That'd be one of her moles that I've only seen. Oh my (laughs) God. (laughs) (laughs) So that's really, it's on her bike. It's on her bicycle. It's on her bicycle uh, spoke. (laughs) <laughs> All right. smoke. Jen, what do you think? Oh damn, I'm I'm thinking yeah, it's a, it's a, a picture of just two people and it's like zoomed in, or a picture of something zoomed in. I I can't even guess. It's like, definitely a picture of something zoomed in. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know why you, you, you can't say it's a picture of something yeah. zoomed in. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, let's say I'm being more zoomed specific. out, Jed. <laughs> uh, a picture of like Ron somewhere and it's totally zoomed in on the background or something yeah, like that. Probably. yeah. probably okay i don't know right. why you think it's two people it's just one All person right. now it's a nostril oh, oh <laughs> man why it's i mean fuck? it's one it's definitely one person right yeah wow yeah. why did you <laughs> we, 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 we can't show this you know that no, I, I know that. I know that. But this was more for so me. Th- this can't anything. be just for us. This this no. is supposed to be for people watching. This this <laughs> for us is not right. <laughs> wait, no, so Ronnie, Ronnie, wait, Ronnie wait, tell us something about yourself. What? So what part? Do you like black guys? <laughs> so so was it was it zoomed in his nostril or uh, which part was it? It was zoomed actually in? zoomed in his pillow. It was zoomed in his pillow. <laughs> wow. So guess Hello. who's right? It's it's either me or Jed because we said it's gonna be, it's, it's, you know what that is two people when you think about it. That's what I was thinking too. I was like, I'm, I might give that I might give that to you and Jed because that that's not one person. You, but you can have I mean, the guy. You can have the guy. Um, how do you? Is this your? Is this the guy that you live with? Yeah, I took this. <clears throat> Like yeah. if you pan your camera, these he's are his headshots. His <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, did you did you see the uh, the documentary on on Vice about this guy? Who is this yeah. guy? He he's like some uh, some low low budget uh, uh, adult actor. So yeah. And, so what uh, happened? He, he was from the. He did yeah. all these like he did all these like hood ghetto movies, adult films that got they they got passed around uh, the hood like you know like just. How people sell like mixtapes. It got passed around, and he got he yeah. got recognized um, like from friends and family. And um, his uh, his grandmother had had recognized oh, him. How did his grandmother get a copy? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And like when they interviewed his family, they were like, they were like, "Oh my gosh, grandma!" First, they were like so shocked because they're like, "Why? Why does she even have 
a, a tape like that. It, she didn't know it was going to be his grandson on there. But they were freaking out because, like, why would grandma have a tape like this in, in general? He's crazy. I forgot his name. Yeah. Um, um, this guy, this, so there was a meme going around when COVID first happened. Yeah. And it was a link that you would send people saying, like, uh, it would be like the COVID statistics. I forget what it was, but it was a COVID related link that you would send to a friend. You open it up and it would be this. So he got really famous. He died, actually. So rest in peace. <laughs> he died um, already? Oh, what? Like recently? Yeah, like last. Oh, no, not recently. Like a few years ago. But he's how, dead. how did he die? Just a huge dick. Probably he, you know, just all the blood circulated to his <laughs> dick. And you know, the the fact that brain. we're showing Dwayne Perkins after this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> You better blur this out or something. You, can't, you cannot show this. Yeah, we'll give it just cut off. In fact, this is so shocking, and I'm surprised you still have it on here. It's still up. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to keep it up. Bro, put, it back, like, put it back on, put it back on your screensaver. Where it belongs. <laughs> your wallpaper. Put it back on your kitchen table where it belongs. It's like a baby elephant. <laughs> it's crazy. Right? Dum- it's like Dumbo. Yeah. No, it's crazy. Oh. I know. Trust me. I know. It's crazy. I've looked at it for a while. <laughs> anyway, so this is um, this is the last photo. Uh, it's is that, clearly is that it's on my all laptop white. or is that on yours? That's a real picture. Of something. This, <laughs> this is a real picture of something. Uh, Ron. So, Ron, what, what do you describe what you're looking at for the, okay. well, what for the I, audio? What I'm, what I'm looking at right now has nothing to do with what you what's in your head. Um, <laughs> what's in your head is going to be shocking and disgusting. <laughs> right, now it looks, right now it looks like a cloud, but when you zoom out, it's going to be two black dudes fucking you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's going to be. Or it is disgusting. It's, or it's going to be just a fucking uh, a picture of another person. Okay. Well, that's, I mean, all right, fine. I'll get, okay. All right, fine, whatever. I'll, I'll give you a person. Yes. That's your answer? Yes, because I know you now. I, the last three <laughs> is all the same shit. <laughs> I think the last one was a lot different, but okay, fine, sure. It's it's basically you got an asshole from a cow, yeah. a black man's dick, yeah. uh, <laughs> me and Justin together. This is going to be a, either a per, there's, there's something there's something living, a living being is going to be seen in this. Okay. Um, <laughs> and it's probably it's it's probably going to be more. Uh, it can't be less sh- more shocking than the last one, but it's going to be <clears throat> not sh- not as shocking. But we're like, wow, that was a twist. <laughs> okay, all right, well, sure. Yeah, I, I don't know if I, okay. there that, there's a person in there that's showing some weird body part, <laughs> <laughs> whether it's an, a mole or or a fucking dick hole or, a, <laughs> or an ass hair. Uh, something that, something that lives in Ronnie's fantasies. <laughs> hey man, I only think about this stuff on the weekends. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Justin, what do you, what do you think? What do you think you're looking at? This is uh, Alaskan ice fishing. Alaskan <laughs> ice fishing. All right, all right. Jed, I'm gonna say fuck it. I'm gonna say it's a cum stain. <laughs> cum stain. Oh man, then that, that'd, be the, that'd be a reverse color cum stain. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you this: there, there is no, definitely no come near this. Uh, oh, I'll take that as my final. This, this is uh so dude. This is, it uh, was ice and snow. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, yo. That's my point. Okay, you got the you 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 get a point, but you also get a point deducted because you got this on your car. <laughs> <laughs> look, hey, look at that! Look at that photo, and then uh, the one that me and Ron. It's the same. Wait, where? Why? How yeah, come you got is... snow on this? Where were you? Uh, Colorado, somewhere in Colorado. I think. I don't know. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> we you look exactly the same in this. Yeah, that was like 2012, 13, and that picture was like 2010, something like that. <laughs> yeah that you know you know it's so faded on that thing it you i mean it's gonna cost more money to try to remove it it's gonna cost a lot of money to remove that did you drive it uh from cali to colorado 
Yeah, I like, did like 46 states. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a big sticker. It just peels off. Yeah. And he has a, he has a, the other side is his white, uh, business partner friend, Jake, uh, Jake. There's Daniel. another side. There's another side with another face. Not a friend <laughs> and not a partner. Yeah. And <laughs> when basically we, he, they put this on for the tour and after the tour, they stopped being friends. So the, <laughs> the, 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 the face is still there. <laughs> yeah. If I, if I took it off, it would just look weird in my car. Weirder than this. <laughs> you should yeah. you should have this. Have two of your faces like just really confused next to each other. You should, <laughs> you should have an evolution of your your facial hair throughout, and you know, get laid on yeah. with it. Well, you, you, if you go through everybody's eight by ten since they started comedy or performing, you can actually see the evolution of what their hair and body looks like. Like. If you, yeah, but this have, was like a year how, ago. How many eight by <laughs> how many eight by tens or headshots have you had, Justin? Um, at least uh, man, ten, like five or so, something like that. Yeah, you usually get yeah, I usually get new ones every two three years. Yeah, because sometimes you'll go to a comedy club and then they'll be like, "Hey, you got to have a new headshot." They're like, why? Well, this guy Larry Horowitz, he's like he was like two hundred and fifty seventy five pounds. And his headshot was when he was 20 and 160 pounds. And he still uses it. And they're like, you can't keep using this. Because <laughs> yeah, people are going to be that. expecting this young, good-looking kid to come in. <laughs> and this old, fat bastard comes out. Yeah, so I'm just going to say, that. Justin and Jed tied that last game. Ron, you got one point. Uh, Justin and Jed tied for three points. And, uh, nice. Yeah, I so. think I won. If you didn't deduct my last point, I got. Ice. <laughs> I literally got snow ice fishing the, in the snow. That's the prize nice. is uh, a life size uh, photo of um, you know this gentleman here. Uh, so yeah, you, don't don't bring it yeah, you can you can have my sherry. Don't Justin, bring it. You can, have, <laughs> you can have it. Hey, did you see that uh, that that dude on he, online where he made a uh, for Halloween? He made a uh, a Snickers like candy dispenser. With his picture, and then the, the Snickers bar would come out of it as his uh, as his dick. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen that. Yeah, it's hilarious. I was like, yeah, but this is not. This is more genius. of like a <laughs> this is like a banana bread. I don't know, wait, a loaf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I guess oh. the point you like watching is BBCs. I'm just guessing. <laughs> no, this I I just or, enjoy or looking at this stuff. This is not doesn't turn me on. You know, I just. It's like naturally. So you, you just you, you enjoy looking at the human body. Yeah, like I enjoy a lot of bodies. <laughs> yeah, like look at yeah, artistic form. And well, you <laughs> yeah. know, it's, it's probably like how, how how tricks like looking at feet. Yeah, I mean they, these these guys don't know who tricks is, but um, yeah, but this doesn't turn uh, me on. Doesn't you turn just me like on, to study it. it. You just like to study it while you just you just, just, start, you just like staring at. It. Yeah, I mean, it's what's not, the difference? So the difference between turning you on is you actually getting hard. This one is yeah. more like, wow, I wish I had that damn thing. Yeah, this is more like I want to draw it. You know, how much of this is gay though? Like, is it? <laughs> there's a percent of this that is gay to draw. No, it's like, just it's just like I'd rather you know it's I w- I want to mimic it through art and. It doesn't want, I, but I don't want to jack off to it. You know what I mean? There's a difference. <laughs> you know, there's a closet right behind you. You know that. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's closed. It's yeah. closed and shut. <laughs> <laughs> you are out. You are basically out. <laughs> you are out and free. <laughs> hey, it's all good. This is the this is the coming out uh, episode. The coming out episode. Yeah. yeah. Anything for the views at this point, man. <laughs> doing anything this, will, this, this will get us down to zero instead of one <laughs> <laughs> well i mean there's a demographic out there right so you there know, is. that's what i you know, yeah, we're, exactly. we're gonna be the biggest gay following we're gonna have the biggest gay following <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually did a i did a gay comedy show in toronto and uh, i blew up i mean the gay community started liking me a lot because they're like there's a new bear on the scene there's, like this whole thing <laughs> <laughs> and my my gay friend who who produces the show he just asked he just asked me the headline just as a comic you know he was like he didn't not 
every comic happened to be gay on the show. So they assumed everybody was gay. So I headlined the show and a gay couple came out to me and they're like, you know, we thought you were the best. I go, thank you. You know why? I go, why? Because you didn't have to do gay material to make us laugh like everybody else did. You just did your normal Filipino stuff and regular <laughs> observations. But, and he goes, and that's what we liked about it because you were more, you went out of the box. You went out of the gay box. And, then, and, but, and to tell you the truth, that was probably the best compliment I ever had at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so and I didn't want to tell them uh, I was straight. That's the whole, the whole point of this is I didn't want to tell oh, them I was straight. Oh. To make the to break their hearts. <laughs> you ever do that? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, right. Um, um, so I guess this is a good place to to wrap up. All right, and we out. Let's we'll wrap up.